Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. Last two videos I have explained you about game theory. First of all, before going to problems, you must be clear about the concepts which are used in the problems of game theory. First of all, <clears throat> game theory is a unique approach of uh, business, taking business decisions in a situation of competitiveness and conflicting in nature. When the situation consists of participants who are, who are having conflict, who are competitors, how to take the rational decision in those situations. So this game theory will be very much helpful. So management, actually game is a situation in which two or more participants will participate. So when two participants are there, one party will win, the other party may lose. So how to play the game, how to take a rational decision in, a, in such a situation, this game theory will be helpful to the management. So actually we think that game means a sport. But just like sport, a business is also game. Because in business also we have competitors. We have uh, conflicting interests. That means every business wants to capture as much as possible the market share. But all the parties, uh, but all the participants cannot be able to capture the maximum. If one party, if one business wins, the other business may lose. So this type of situation, how to take the decision in such situation, this game theory will be very much helpful. Then assumptions of game theory, I have already explained in the last video, that every player is a rational player, is an intelligent player. He is having full information about the rules of this game. He has finite so alternative courses of action. All these are the uh, assumptions of a game. Then next one we have discussed about two person zero sum game. When a game consists of only two participants where the gain of one party is exactly equal to the loss of the other party. It is called two person zero sum game. Payoff matrix. Payoff is the outcome of the game. That means how much one party will win, uh, how much one party will get and how much one party will lose. That is the outcome of the game is called payoff. And the payoff can be represented in a matrix form having rows and columns. The next we have discussed about two types of strategies are the pure strategy and mixed strategy. A pure strategy will be there when saddle point exists. The saddle point is a point at which maximum and minimax both are equal. Then saddle point exists. It's a pure strategy game. Every party will have a single strategy to be adopted. Single alternative. For example, A player is having A1, A2, A3, A4. Out of which A player is adopting only A3. Whereas B player is having 5 strategies. B1, B2, B3, B4, B5. Out of which the B player is adopting B1 only. It is called a pure strategy game. Not a mixture. Whereas mixed strategy a player is not adopting one strategy but mixture of strategies that is called mixed strategy game right lastly i have discussed about principle of dominance so all these concepts you must be aware of because in examination they will ask you what is principle of dominance what is mixed strategy what is pure strategy what is saddle point what are the assumptions of game theory so watch the earlier videos be clear then you should come to the problem now in this video, some five problems I am going to explain you. The first five problems. So if you watch the first two, three videos, definitely you can be able to get a good command. Don't skip in between. So before starting the problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Always keep it ready. Take the screenshot of the points, then I'll explain all the problems in detail. Now, see the first problem. For the following payoff matrix for firm A, determine the optimal strategy for both the firms and the value of the game using maximin and minimax principle. Remember, maximin 
means maximum among the minimums and minimax means minimum among the maximums so always while watching the video i suggest my viewers to have a uh, calculator notebook pen ready when i explain something immediately you should note it down otherwise you'll forget it there is no i mean benefit simply by watching and listening the lecture you must maintain the notes so maximum maximum among the minimum minimax minimum among the maximum right so here two players are there firm a and firm b firm a is in rows and firm b is in columns so two player one player strategy in rows the other player strategy in columns so here matrix is given for example the first value is minus one that means if firm a adopts second strategy uh, first value is three first value is three that means if firm a adopts first strategy and firm b also adopt first strategy then three is the gain to a and three is the loss to b so normally the row player we assume as a maximizing player and the column player is a minimizing player so here three represents what three represents means if firm a adopts first strategy and firm b also adopt the first strategy then the outcome of the game is three that means three rupees is the gain to a firm and three rupees is the loss to b firm right that is the meaning of this matrix now how to find out the value of the game what is the optimal strategy for player a and player b in this problem the names of the strategies are not given simply it is given four strategies are available for firm a because four rows are there similarly firm b one two three four five five columns are there that means for firm b five strategies are available for firm a four strategies are available we will give the name it will be better if we give the names so let the strategies available for firm a are a1 a2 a3 a4 and the strategies available for firm b are b1 b2 b3 b4 and b5 five strategies so first of all i am writing let the strategies for firm a are a1 a2 a3 a4 and strategies for firm b are b1 b2 b3 b4 b5 it is not given in the problem we have given because we can easily identify what is the optimal strategy next thing you have to make the table that means the matrix matrix consists of rows and columns so here firm a firm a is having a1 a2 a3 a4 and firm b is having b1 b2 b3 b4 b5 now whatever elements are given of the matrix the same elements i have copied the same elements i have copied in the table now one extra row and one extra column we have to make extreme right hand side row minimum this is not given in the problem we have made extra column row minimum similarly last column maximum every problem we are going to do like this only row minimum and column maximum row minimum means in every row find out the lowest or minimum element and write it down in the first row 3 minus 1 4 6 7 what is the minimum among these elements minus 1 is the minimum so take it minus 1 second row minus 1 8 2 4 12 minimum is minus 1 again take minus 1. third row 16 8 6 14 12 minimum is 6 so write down 6 last row 1 11 minus 4 2 1 minimum is minus 4 that's it so we have selected the minimum in each row in these minimum select the maximum select the maximum so minus one minus one six four what is the maximum value six so round it off make it in a box six and write on maximum what is this maximum maximum among the minimums similarly column maximum in every column select the maximum element and write it down 
the first column maximum element is 16 second column maximum element 11 third column maximum element 6 next column maximum element 14 next column maximum element 12 now in this maximum values select the minimum what is the minimum among these maximum 6 is the minimum this is called minimax minimum among the maximums so here minimax so this 6 is maximum and this 6 is minimax so where these 6 are we are getting in this column in this column which is this column b3 so optimal strategy for b player is b3 and this 6 is in which row you can see the row a3 so a3 is the optimal strategy for firm a now here you should write down since the maximum is equal to minimax so saddle point exists saddle point is the value of the game where maximum and minimax both are equal every time it will not be equal after doing few more problems then you will come across where maximum and minimax will not be equal in that case what we have to do i will tell you later but right now remember when maximum is equal to minimax the saddle point exists it's a pure strategy game it's a pure strategy game then the solution of the game is the optimum strategy for player a is a3 so you can see here this six this six is against the row a3 so this a3 is the optimum strategy for player a and this six is for which column b3 so b3 is the optimum strategy for player b and what is the intersection of this six six circle this six this is the value of the game value of the game is six so here optimum strategy for player a is a3 optimum strategy for player b is b3 the value of the game is six that's it first problem completed the coming two three problems are similar type after that new concept will come now second problem solve the following game here name of the player is not given but simply r1 r2 r3 row 1 row 2 row 3 that means in rows we are having a player called r player suppose we we suppose it it is not given in the problem we suppose that in the rows the player is r and the columns are c1 c2 c3 so we suppose the player in the column is c so the game is played between r and c r is the row player and c is the column player so three strategies are available for r and three strategies are available for c so here <clears throat> you can see now let the players are r and c r is the row player c is the column player the strategies for player r are r1 r2 r3 this is the r player he is having strategy r1 r2 r3 out of this strategy he has to select any one similarly c player he is having three strategies c1 c2 c3 and these are the elements of the matrix these are called the payoff payoff of the matrix that will be given in the problem now again just in the previous problem i told you you have to open one column and one row extra that is row minimum and column maximum so row minimum first row minimum is minus three second row minimum is one third row minimum is minus four in these minimums select the maximum so minus three one minus four so what is the maximum value one is the maximum value this is called maximum maximum among the minimums now come to columns column maximum first column maximum is three second column maximum three third column maximum one right so what is the minimum among these maximums in this maximums the minimum is one so call it as minimax this is minimax now what do you observe here 
maximin is one, minimax is also one. So saddle point exists. Since maximin is equal to minimax, so saddle point exists. It's a pure strategy game. So what is the optimum strategy for player R? R is in rows. So this one, maximin, this maximin is against R2. So R2 is the optimum strategy for player R. And this one is the is against C3. So C3 is the optimum strategy for player R, uh, player C. C3 is the optimum strategy for player C. And the value of the game is 1. See here, 1 is the intersection of this row and column. Intersection of this row and column. This is the column and this is the row. Intersection is this one. So what is the value here? 1. That is the value of the game. That's it. So simple. Now come to problem number 3. Problem number 3. The payoff matrix of a game is given below. Find the solution of the game to A and B. Player A, 1, 2, 3, 4. Player B, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Names are not given, but simply strategy number is given. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right? So we give the name. For player A, we write on A1, A2, A3, A4. It's not compulsory. It's optional. But if we give the name, it will be better to identify, to locate. Similarly, B player, B1, B2, B3, B4, B5. And all payoff matrix matrices are given. Payoff elements are given. So copy down. Exactly similar what we have done. So let the strategies for player A are A1, A2, A3, A4. Four strategies for player A. And five strategies for player B. B1, B2, B3, B4, B5. Right? So here A player A1, A2, A3, A4. B1, B2, B3, B4, B5. All the elements, whatever is given in the problem, I have taken. One extra column and one extra row. The column is row minimum. This is the column. Row minimum. So what is the minimum in the first row? Minus 2. Second row minimum is 1. Third row minimum is minus 4. Fourth row minimum is minus 6. These are the minimum. In this minimum, what is the maximum? Minus 2, 1, minus 4, minus 6. The maximum is 1. That is called maximin. Now come to column maximum. First column maximum 5. Second column maximum 2. Third column maximum 1. Next column maximum 5. Next column maximum 6. In these maximums, select the minimum. What is the minimum here? 1. This is called minimax. So again, fortunately, our maximin is 1 and minimax is also 1. Maximin is equal to minimax. So saddle point exists. Saddle point exists. So now easily we can look at what is the optimum strategy for player A. This is A2. Because this one is against A2. And what is this uh, 1? What is this, uh, I mean, column 1? This is B3. So we can finally say the optimum strategy for player A is A2. And the optimum strategy for player B is B3. And the value of the game is 1. 1 is the intersection of that row and column. This is the row and this is the column. Intersection is 1. So value of the game is 1. So after watching three problems, I think you got uh, the command how to solve a game theory problem. right? But these are very basic problems in which pure strategy problems because the maximum minimax both are equal right next problem number four in problem number four a company management and labor union are negotiating a three-year settlement each player has four strategies they are so here the two players are company management one player and trade union is the labor union is the second now they want a settlement. So settlement consists of three years settlement. But each player is having four strategy. The four strategy, every player, that means four rows and four columns. Four strategies are available for company management. And four strategies are available for labor union also. 
So first strategy, hard and aggressive bargaining. Second strategy, reasoning and logical approach. Third strategy, legalistic strategy. Last fourth, conciliatory approach. So these are the four strategy. And all these four strategies are same for rows as well as columns. The cost to the company are given for every pair of strategy choice. So here company strategies are given in columns and the union strategies are given in rows. So rows we have union strategy and columns we have company strategy. What strategy will the two sides adopt? Then you also determine the value of the game. That means what should be the strategy of the union and what should be the optimum strategy for the company. That's what we have to find out, right? So instead of saying one, two, three, four, all the names are given for the strategy. Forget about the names. We denote it as A, B player. A is the union and B is the company. A is having A1, A2, A3, A4. And B is having B1, B2, B3, B4. Like this, we give the symbol. Later on, we write down whatever name or names are given. Now, see here. Let the union strategies are A1, A2, A3, A4 and company strategies are B1, B2, B3, B4. A player is in rows and B player is in columns. A1, A2, A3, A4, B1, B2, B3, B4. Whatever elements are given in the problem, same elements are copied. Now, row minimum, column maximum. So row minimum, 20, 15, 12, 35, 12 is the minimum. 25, 14, 8, 10, 8 is the minimum. 42, 10, 5, 2 is the minimum. Minus 5, 4, 11, 0, minus 5 is the minimum. We got row minimum. In this row minimum, select the maximum. That is the maximum. So what is the maximum here? 12. So 12 is the maximum. Maximum among the minimums. Now column. Column maximum. What is the maximum in the first column? 40 is the highest. Second column, 15 is the highest. Third column, 12 is the highest. 35 is the highest. In this maximum values, select the minimum. The minimum is 12. Now put the 12 in a box, minimax. Now fortunately, again you can see maximum is 12, minimax is also 12. Maximum is equal to minimax. So saddle point exists. It's a pure strategy game. Now we find out this 12 is against which column and which row. So here this 12 is against the column B3. So B3 is the optimum strategy for player B. Similarly, this 12 is against A1. A1, A1 means first strategy, right? So ultimately, what is the value of the game? 12, because row and column these two are intersecting at 12 so 12 is the value of the game now finally what we should write the optimum union strategy is a1 because a row player is union and column player is company so for row player the optimum strategy is a1 a1 means uh, hard and aggressive that means union should go for hard and aggressive strategy the hard and aggressive bargaining right Whereas this company management B1, B2, B3, B3 is optimum. What is this B3? It is given the problem legalistic strategy. So B3 is legalistic. So we finally suggest the optimum strategy for company is B3. That is legalistic strategy. The union should go for hard and aggressive strategy. Whereas this company should go for legalistic strategy. And the value of the game is 12. That's all. Now, problem number five. What is the optimal strategy in the game described by the matrix? So here, name of the players not given, name of the strategies not given. Simply numbers are given in rows and columns. So we make the assumption. In rows we have A player and in columns we have B player. We can write anything. But for our convenience, for our uniformity, I am taking row a player and columns B player. So A player is having three strategy A1, A2, A3 and B player is having four strategy B1, B2, B3, B4. Right? So here 
let the players are A and B, strategies for player A, A1, A2, A3, strategies for player B, B1, B2, B3, B4. Now we can, I mean, structure the problem like this. A player, A1, A2, A3, B player, B1, B2, B3, B4, all the elements which are given in the problem I have copied. Now we take the row minimum and column maximum. Here row minimum, here column maximum. Row minimum is minus 5, here 4, here minus 5. So what is the maximum among these minimums? Minus 5 or 4 or 5, minus 5. So 4 is maximum. This is called maximin. So maximin we got 4. Now column maximum. The column maximum first 5, second 5, third is 4. And last one is 20. So 5, 5, 4, 20. What is the minimum among these maximums? 4 is the minimum. So put it as minimax. Again, fortunately, maximum is 4, minimax is also 4. That means saddle point exists. Here, this 4 is against column B3. And this 4 is against row A2. The optimum strategy for player A is A2. And the optimum strategy for player B is B3. And the value of the game is 4. That's it. So, 5 basic problems I have explained on game theory in this video. But don't think that this is the end of the problems. No, these are the basic ABC of game theory. In the coming problem, the dominance principle will apply. Where saddle point does not exist. When saddle point does not exist, mixed strategy have to be applied. So, so many complications will arise in the coming video, coming problems. So, if you want the perfect knowledge, watch all the videos, basic problems as well as complicated problems. So, if you watch in the middle or if you have, uh, I mean, watched only few videos, you cannot be able to get the complete command. So, inshallah, we will continue our next problem in the next video. So, if you are satisfied, give a like to the video, share my channel among your friends, among your groups, so that more students can watch the video and enhance the knowledge. Give your comments. Subscribe my channel if you have not yet subscribed. And by the super thanks, which is given below my video. Inshallah, we will continue the next problem in the next video.